Let's go! We got a big pattern forming right now on Bitcoin. So if you're holding Bitcoin right now, you need to pay attention to this pattern. We're talking about this. We're talking about Ethereum. And as you can see here, Ethereum went straight into my orange box. And since getting into that, we've been trying to break it multiple times. What should you do right now if you are in Ethereum? Well, I'm going to talk about that. We're talking about other stuff you need to know in the crypto space. Of course, I am going to talk about Rainicorn also because I talked about this yesterday and this thing has been going up a lot. So if you got into Rainicorn yesterday, I am going to tell you about this thing as well. So welcome back, everybody. My name is Cristiano, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe subscribe right now because we are making money on this channel and if you want to do it yourself as well then that could be a very good idea okay so what should we do well first off let's actually begin by looking at the markets overall here because you can see that many of the coins that are performing the best right now are old coins coins from 2017 and actually before that as well so ethereum classic is the main gainer here among the top altcoins right now 50 percent and dogecoin also of course also is going to the moon right now people are just putting <laughs> it seems like people are taking profit on all of the you know really good altcoins putting it into these old altcoins so telcoin i haven't heard about this since 2017 dash old coin litecoin is also an old coin same with eos zcash bitcoin cash phantom i mean many bitcoin gold even it's completely crazy the markets are weird right now and yeah telcoin i haven't heard about this thing what's happening with telcoin so okay so they had a huge pump no idea what's going on here you can see that this had a huge pump in 2018 then basically then nothing just went sideways for multiple years here just a big ice age and then recently it seems like for some reason it is pumping really really hard right now so I have no idea guys but let's begin by talking about Bitcoin here because we got a very important pattern right now you can see that we are inside of a falling wedge now this is a bullish pattern okay so this is a bullish pattern of, of course they can break to the up and to the downside but in general these are bullish patterns and so we are going to have a resolution I mean this is very steep so within the next couple of days we are going to have a breakdown or a breakout out of this pattern more likely that we're actually going to have it within a day or two so pay attention to this pattern i am going to keep you updated on twitter as usual but if we break this to the upside what should we pay attention to well if we break it to the upside you got the next level of resistance at the orange box at 57,612. If we break it to the downside, and uh, this is actually going to also align with a big support level if we get down to the next level of support here at the orange box. And you know, these orange boxes are not to be played with. You know this already. So I am expecting a big, big support if we get down to this level. So looking at this wedge, those are things you need to consider right now. Okay, let's continue. Are we bullish or are we bearish right now on Bitcoin? Well, you can see that we broke down from my orange box right here and we found support at my orange line and now we are actually finding a bit of... This is good. Look, we didn't go all the way down to the orange box here. We were, I don't know, $100 or so off. But this is telling me that people were buying this. People were more bullish than bearish in general here. People around this level, people are very bullish on Bitcoin. People want to get into Bitcoin at this level. And you can see that by the price not even reaching my orange line here. Instead, people started to buy Bitcoin before it actually got to this level. Meaning, in other words, a lot of people had their actual bids above this level and you're also always going to have a couple of bids above the uh, actual level so this is the actual support level but you know people want to get in before we actually get to this level and in this case there were just a lot of people who wanted to get in before this level so the price never reached all the way down here but what happened after that well we went up and we found resistance this time at my orange line here at 55,500. So we got that rejection and the question right now is of course are we going to break this orange line at 55,510 or are we going to break it to uh, down to 52,669 
And I would say, look, everything in between here, just like I usually say, is just noise. Now, getting in at Bitcoin at this level was not a bad idea. I still stand by that. From a risk reward standpoint, it was a very good idea. This is why I got in right here. And people are going in hindsight going to say, of course, that was not a good idea because the trade, you know, is now sitting at a loss. No worries, I'm going to show you exactly how I am going to get out of this trade at a profit because this is a very good support level. I am going to play this support level and get out of this. Uh, actually, perhaps even make even more money accumulating at this level and then take a profit. Because, you know, this is what we did previously. Remember, we bought all the way down here, rode it to the upside, took profit. Actually, I think we took profit right here. And uh, yeah, so this is how we play the markets. We make good decisions from a risk towards standpoint. Sometimes it is still going to go against us on the odd chance it is going to do that. We always have that plan and to get out at a profit anyway. But are we bullish or are we bearish right now on Bitcoin? So I already talked about my trade and how I intend to play it. But overall, taking away all of this, you can see that we are very clearly still making a bit of I mean, the structure is still pretty good. So if we go to this chart, I mean, the structure, we have this wedge right here, of course, in which we broke down of. But if we just do something like this and we look at the kind of overall structure here, we are still going up and not at a parabolic pace, but things are still trending upwards. So this is good to see. I don't think there's any reason to be concerned right now, but when it comes to altcoins, because the Bitcoin dominance has been going down, altcoins have been having multiple thousand percents in returns, I would say that we are somewhere towards the middle to the end of the, not at the end of the bull market, but I mean, we are approaching, you know, some kind of top. Maybe Bitcoin is going to go up to, you know, $100,000. That would be a 2x from here. Maybe it's going to go up to $150,000. Maybe it's just going to go up to $75,000 or even $65,000. Who knows? But it's not really that important. The important part is that you got a plan on how to get out of this market. I'm going to review my plan uh, within the next couple of days. So if you want to see that, make sure to, um, uh, yeah, just subscribe and activate the bell so that you get notified whenever I release that video. Because getting out and not holding the bags for a multi-year bear market is very, very important. And I'm going to show you and tell you how I am actually doing that myself. So what am I trying to say? Look, if you are sitting at multiple thousand of percents in profit in all altcoins, perhaps take some profit, consolidate into Bitcoin because Bitcoin is going to hold its value over time and then maybe even take some profit into stable coins as well. All in all, I don't see any big reasons to be concerned for Bitcoin right now. And another reason why I don't think that you should panic sell Bitcoin right now is that if we flip on the Lux Algo, so I'm going to take away all of this, I'm going to flip on the Lux Algo on the four hourly time frame. And uh, we got something here I need to show you. So I am going to flip on the reversal zones. As I said <laughs> yesterday, I mean, the Lux Algo has so many features. So I'm going to activate the reversal zones and I am going to show you something. So you can see that once we get into this blue cloud or green cloud here, we never actually, or okay, let me put it this way. Once we get into the blue cloud, uh, green cloud that is usually a very good buy-in opportunity we got in right here we got in right here at the uh, top of the cloud here we got in here this actually fell into the blue cloud still buying at the blue cloud was a good buying opportunity because you can see you know you're, you're buying into uh, the blue cloud here we are even today sitting at a higher price point than where we were previously. Buying into the uh, green cloud here, we are obviously sitting at profit. So, and, and you're having that bounce. So buying inside of the green cloud in general, even though it can still fall lower, is usually a good idea. Now, this is not, you know, this is not me telling you that you should, you know, bet the farm as soon as we are getting here. I'm just saying that this is also going to act as support. And not only that, if I then activate my orange box, you can see that the green cloud is actually getting into my orange box here at $50,000, big psychological level. So you have the cloud, you have my orange box, you have the $50,000 psychological level right here. 
So yeah, I wouldn't sell if we get into $50,000 here. If anything, I will be buying. And uh, yeah, you're going to be able to see that. Am I going to get wrecked? Well, of course, you are going to be able to see that also. So that is what I am thinking about right now. If we quickly look at Ethereum, we uh, have been anticipating a big pump in Ethereum. We did that, but even at these levels, I told you that we had a big resistance all the way up here. And look at this, we've been trying to break it. One, two, three, four, five, uh, five times basically trying to clear this orange box and we haven't been successful. So are we going to have enough momentum to actually do this? Maybe Ethereum is going to cool off for a bit here before actually if this bull run continues in the same manner it has been doing before we actually go up and get to $5,000 and beyond. So big resistance here. Until we clear this, I am not getting into a new trade. If anything, this is a good opportunity to perhaps take some off the table and wait for a good entry on Ethereum. And if you want to start trading any of these coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, or many other altcoins, you're able to do so over on Bybit. Using my link right here is going to give you up to $1,610 for free. So make sure to check that out. And also I will link my trading tutorial at the end of this video. Traditional markets. Traditional markets are actually taking a little downtrend right here. And we got down and on traditional markets, we reached my orange line here. Big bounce of my orange line up now. Well, a big bounce basically. So yes, I do have orange lines, not only on Bitcoin, Ethereum and other altcoins, but also on traditional markets. And you can see that this is again acting as a very good uh, thing to keep uh, attention to. So orange box saving us here now. Uh, or orange line, I mean, if we were to break down here on traditional markets, that is going to be ugly. If we break down here, that is going to be ugly for the crypto markets. So I'm just going to give you that heads up. You need to watch the traditional markets. You need to see if we are going to break down here. So today is actually very important. Let's talk about Rainy. So this is a altcoin I talked about yesterday. And uh, I told you that... Uh, yeah, I was getting into this altcoin and uh, I mean, I knew or they told me that they had a lot of things going for them. So they had the Binance Smart Chain Bridge, they had a lot of artists. Basically, this is my NFT play. And so why am I bringing this up to, uh, today again? Well, because this has been on a tier recently. I mean, up during the last 14 days, 300%. So if you got in yesterday, you're sitting at 100% in profit, perhaps take some profit, you know, take out your initial investment or whatever. If you're interested in getting into this, I mean, this is still very small, 25 million in market cap. So you mean, I mean, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but maybe it is a good idea to wait for some kind of pullback. But again, this can just continue to run out also. I have not taken profit on this coin yet. Not anything at all. I haven't sold any of my rainy. But you know, I am myself and you are you. And don't do as I do. Always do your own research. Always do your own decisions. And uh, yeah, if you got in yesterday, 100% up. Where is this going to stop? From what I have been told about this from the developers and so, they have a lot of things going on right now. And this is basically my NFT play, low cap altcoin jam. If NFTs are going to become as hot as they were two months ago, I think that this is going to continue to do extremely well. But I'm not telling you what to do, guys. Always, you know, as I said, do whatever you feel is right for you but I am still in this coin and I think that this is going to still do very well. Although taking out the initial deposit is always a good idea when you're sitting at insane profits, 100% during one day. So I will keep you updated on this as well, guys. Lastly, I want to talk a bit about World Token. So this is a coin I'm not holding, but they did reach out to me and ask me if I could talk a bit about them and I thought it was actually looking pretty interesting. So why not? So world is a basically a marketplace for all of the different things when it comes to buying and selling and nfts and stuff like that so you have all of these different marketplaces you have all of these different assets across multiple different blockchains what if you could just get them into one marketplace and buy and sell them there so that is basically what they are doing so here is the about page and about the marketplace which is not yet launched but they are going to launch it very soon. So if you look at their actual app, I mean, it's looking good right here and they are uh, continuing to work on this right now. But looking at their uh, actual roadmap, you can see that we're where we are right now, May to June, will be the launch of the online store platform, 
where merchants can list their items and start receiving and staking tokens. And then they got expanding web store to accept physical items and escrow and the dispute system that will be for July to November. Beyond that, the peer to peer exchange development will begin. So that's cool, guys. Make sure to check this out if you think that this sounds interesting. For me, this is definitely interesting. A one stop shop for digital items. This is cool to see. Now, the world token is actually at a market cap of $10 million. Make sure to check out their Twitter. They got you got all of the information you need over there. So overall, cool service. Thank you so much for World Token for uh, supporting the channel. So that's it for this video, guys. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it. And also, I will see you in the next one.